It's the seventh day of the anti-terror operation in Rajouri right now by the Indian Army. Now remember, this is not an easy terrain to be operating in. And we are told the hunt is on for the terrorists in the forest belt of Dera Ki Gali and Bafiyas. Mobile internet continues to remain suspended in Rajouri and Poonch too for the fourth day in a row. Now remember, after Army Chief, who had been there in the sector, now the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh is also set to visit the Rajouri Poonch sector. And Army Chief, according to our sources, has instructed local commanders to go for a major offensive against hiding terrorists. Uh, now, this is not an easy terrain to be operating on, specifically for the forest belts. There are a lot of natural caves and hideouts uh, where uh, that need to be dismantled for the terrorists to, to be caught. Uh, Rajnath Singh is also likely to visit uh, the core headquarters, of course, in the, the Jammu region. Uh, there has been, of course, remember, in the past few days, a tragedy that's come in for, uh, for the Indian Army, not the first time, because it was in the same belt of Rajouri Poonch, where earlier also uh, the Indian Army convoy had been attacked, and now this time as well, in that cross-firing, we lost four of our Jawans, and three have received serious injuries as well, who are undergoing treatment. At a time like this, it is a reminder. While the focus has been on Naya Kashmir, it is the Rajouri Poonch belt where the terrorists have also shifted their strategy because ecosystem has faced a crackdown in uh, Kashmir, specifically for the funding of terrorists. So the terrorists have found these easy loopholes, specifically with regard to terrain, uh, the forest belt areas in Rajouri Poonch. But uh, that also means, one, that needs to be an urgent security review uh, with and combined forces have to ensure that this belt is cleared of terror. Rajouri Poonch sector has now become right now the big agenda and priority for the security forces and security agencies, whether it's about the drone surveillance, whether it's about understanding the gravity of the situation, which means from Kashmir, the terrorists are shifting their strategy to the Jammu region. And what can be done to ensure neither the infiltration succeeds nor these terror operations. Here are more on that. The last salute to the fallen braves of the Punch encounter. Thousands line up to pay their last respects to Naik Karan Kumar in his hometown in Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. As India pays tribute to the fallen soldiers, the anti-terror operation entered its sixth day in Jammu and Kashmir's Punch Rajouri sectors. Chief of the Army Staff, General Manoj Pandey, visited Jammu, Punch and Rajouri to take stock of the situation. He interacted with top commanders on ground and was given an update on the prevalent security scenario. Sources have told India today that Pakistan-occupied Jammu Kashmir-based terror handlers Saifullah and Katal Sindhi planned this Poonch Rajouri attack. Sources say that the Rajouri attack was carried out with the help of the Poonch Rajouri module of the terrorist organization Jaish e Mohammed, now with the new name PAFF or People's Anti Fascist Front. A double standard game. Sarkar ko aise netaon ke khilaf unki partiyon ko ban karna hoga. जो पहले और आज भी अंदर से उग्रवाद का समर्थन करने का प्रयास करना चाहते हैं। I think uh, there is lot of scope for improvement uh, in intelligence. And another point I want to say is we must make increasing use of local boys. Rajouri Punch boys have been very very useful to JNK police and the security grid in uh, countering terrorism in Kashmir Valley. Terrorists also targeted a retired senior superintendent of police in Baramula, North Kashmir and killed him as he offered namaz at a mosque on Sunday. Forces are on a state of high alert and have deployed both helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles 
to increase surveillance not just at the line of control but also in the depth areas internet curbs continue in pockets of jammu and kashmir it's a clear message to pakistan that india is not going to tolerate terrorism and india is going to crush terrorism that is being sponsored by pakistan with video journalist neeraj kumar this is sunil bhat reporting from jammu for india today